Hey everyone, this is Stacy here with another devotion that I am grateful to be sharing with you. And this devotion is called, Did You Forget? And in parentheses would be about God. So did you forget about God? So a lot of times my devotions come from simple conversations. Uh, one with myself, another with um, peers, and then also with children. Out of The Bible says out of the mouth of babes. And sometimes um, out of the mouth of babes makes you think on um, the correct answer to give a child. Um, so this particular conversation was about how did the children of Israel, how did they forget? Why did it take them 40 years to get to the promised land? And my simple answer was, <laughs> you know, that's a good question. And I don't think it happened overnight. I don't think it was a, a period where it's just like suddenly they forgot what God did for them. I think it happened over time. Here's an example. You know, when we first come to Jesus, we're grateful that he has delivered us from whatever that we have been going through and we're excited we're ready to scream out the the building saying look at what god has done for me i am free but when you take yourself from moments where you decide you know what i'm not going to go to church today i'm going to stay here and uh catch up on some chores <laughs> um you miss the opportunity where God can be feeding you or a lot of times you know you say you know what I have I'm, I've been super busy and you just haven't simply opened this thing up in a couple of weeks or a month you are missing opportunities where God can be feeding you thus enhancing your decision to go away from the presence of God. See, I think it doesn't happen, like I said before, it doesn't happen suddenly. It's like little decisions that we make that takes us from, when we're not seeking God in our decisions, it takes us from the presence of God. So, and I believe when you finally get to that point to where you're not in his presence and you have suddenly forgot, it leads you to unbelief. You start forgetting about what he has done for you. It leads you to make foolish decisions. So you and I, we're in the kingdom of God. So what are the steps that we need to do that so that we don't forget? And not only do we not forget, but we remind the people around us who God is and what he is capable of. So step one would be to acknowledge in every decision that you make, you need to ask yourself, how can God be glorified? In every decision that you make, how can God be glorified in this decision? If you're asking yourself that in every decision, it's impossible to forget about him. The second step is you need to constantly draw near. Saints, I believe you're already in the second step. You're here. You're here. You're listening to all these devotions that our church has for you. You are drawing near. Every devotion is an opportunity for you to get something fed into your body that leads you closer and closer and closer to our Savior, to God. You are drawing near in this moment. And I want to take you to um, a scripture. This scripture is in 1 Samuel chapter 10 verses 6 and it reads the spirit of the lord will come powerfully upon you and you will prophesy with them and you will be changed into a different person once these signs are fulfilled do whatever your hand finds to do for god is with you 
Saints, this scripture is reading, saying, God has already made the, put up the things that you need to do. God has already made the pre precautions of what you need to do to draw near. I thank God that he's a savior that already has an answer before we can even think of the problem. <laughs> and so this scripture says that whatever your hand finds to do once the the spirit comes upon you once you feel and once you find in your heart what you need to do do it because God is with you so on that note I want to pray us out and I want to uh, give thanks to God for what he has done thank you O oh Lord for being a savior of peace and guidance and always guiding our steps Lord thank you for what you have done and thank you for for leading us thank you for your presence of always being near and thank you for allowing us to draw near and i pray all these things in jesus mighty name i pray amen well guys that completes another devotion i hope you enjoy and it remains on your heart love you guys